Okay, C. Lindelof videos, average percentage yield, and interest per compounding period. I'm going to do this two ways uh, and do this video first. So here's the way you do this if you just had any calculator to find your average percentage yield it would be the principal value times the quantity 1 plus the rate of interest over the compounding periods to the power of the compounding periods minus 1 and I can prove that out to you at some point if you'd like but it really does look like this what I always do is I assume that P is 1 the principal value is 1 so then I'm just gonna do something like this I'm gonna say that so here's my 1 plus and let's say that our interest rate is 9% so if our interest rate is 9%, we have to put that in as a decimal, super important. And we're going to compound that monthly, so there's 12 compounding periods. Then I'm going to raise that to the 12th power, right? 12th power. Then what I'm going to do here is, and a lot of people don't do this, is I'm not going to take this interim value, because if I do, I'm afraid I'm going to have a rounding value, a, a rounding error there. So I'm not going to, I'm going to do the whole thing at one time as one equation. So there it is, right? And if you look at the, the note that I wrote to you above, it gives you that, doesn't it? So then all I'm gonna do is hit enter, and there is the interest rate. So you had a comp you had a interest rate, initial rate of nine percent, but because of the compounding periods, the effective rate is nine point three eight percent. Now if you wanted to know what that breaks out to per compounding period, all you do is from exactly where you are is hit divide and then hit how many compounding periods you had, and that gives you your rate per compounding period. I'm going to let this video go now because, well, you know what, let's just do one more really quickly. And if you're using this calculator, you might as well do this. I just cover stuff up and I hit enter. So now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do a second problem and the second problem suggests that we have 6% compounded quarterly. So I just copy and pasted that thing. I put in 6% compounded, got to go down here, right? And I'm just moving it with with my cursor right here, right? just here and then I'm gonna back over this and I said quarterly right I'm gonna take my cursor again and move over right I'm gonna back up and put in four Hit enter there is your effective it's called the effective rate if you want to know that value per compounding period well we had four kind of compounding periods so we would just divide by four right so there's that that's your effective rate per compounding period. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope this video is really helpful for you. This is how I would find average percentage yield compared to the interest that's being stated and how I would find interest per compounding period. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.